Hello guys, Tzvi here with another unboxing and review and this time we have the Age 28 from JGRC and this is a really interesting quadcopter because this guy actually can be disassembled. So we are talking about a toy quadcopter with attitude hold, with remote adjustment of the quadcopter's camera, with Wi-Fi FPV and disassembled uh, propellers and also propeller legs or whatever we have here i'm going to show you it with the unboxing so basically this is the guy here one thing i must say is that it's very heavy and also none of the none of the things on the box actually say that this is a altitude hold quadcopter there's one sticker here that someone put on the box so i guess they basically developed or created the box without mentioning altitude hold and then they just slapped on on this functionality so i really hope this is going to be a good altitude hold and we are definitely going to check this out in a different video so make sure you click on the subscribe button so we get all of all of our videos we have tons of quadcopter as you can see to review and we are reviewing also other cool stuff so you definitely want to make sure you check on uh, the other videos we are going to make. So let's start with the unboxing. So here we have the box for the JGRC H28 and actually we have the Wi-Fi model here. There is another model for a camera version and I think this one is the most interesting one as you can see because it has this camera and remote adjustment of the camera itself so let's open the box and see what we get inside um, i do recommend you keep this box if you get this quadcopter because it can be used as a case or a cane case um, it also can be used to store the quadcopter if you are not flying it for a long time uh, inside you'll see that we get the plastic box like so i'm going to show you Throw away the box! I manage to destroy my house every time I'm uh, unboxing things. And this is a really big box, by the way. Um, I must say that this is an interesting presentation from JGRC. Um, it has uh, more than one level <laughs> with items on it. And I'll just show you everything I can. So here you can see we have all the propellers which are huge i think i haven't seen as big propellers since the sema x8 uh, i had like a year ago we have the main body of the jgrc here and we have a goodie bag with extra propellers um, so this is very good from jgrc like the usual we also got a manual which fell uh, when i opened the box and it's also in english and chinese I'm going to take a look and see how uh, the English is. Okay, so it's it's quite readable and it also, also tells you... Um, yeah, it's quite readable. It seems like JGRC have gone a long way since um, the old manuals, which used to be like a very bad English. And, and as, as you can see here, this is what we get. We get four of those with LEDs and everything. And basically, we have to connect, obviously, these legs into the quadcopter body. And you can also see the propellers, which are really unique in design. They feel like, um, they feel like something special. And I do hope this flies well, because I want to I test out this uh, quadcopter structure in the field on our next videos, of course. And you do want to be careful when you take those out. So you don't uh, bend the props. So just hold the body whenever you are uh, taking them out. Here's another one. And that's the last one. And this is the main body for the quadcopter, as you can see. And in my case, I already got the battery inside. So I can actually turn this on. And you'll see all the lights lighting, lighting up. Um, we have two connectors here. One of them is for the camera and the other is for the gimbal. So this definitely is going to be interesting because um, they say that uh, you get a gimbal when you can uh, remotely adjust the camera. So this is definitely going to be something we're going to check out. And also we have a huge LED. I think a huge LED over here, you see. It's a green LED. Um, this is definitely going to be seen from uh, far out in the distance, at least 
70 80 meters from what i see here we also get the bag of goodies here i'm going to just put it aside and then we're going to check out what's inside the bag and as you can see there is another level here in the plastic this is really well structured the packaging here is uh basically gives you everything you need on uh, two levels i really like it you don't have to throw um, all of the things in the box it really has a place for everything so this is why i said you might want to keep this this is what you use to obviously use your phone as a wi-fi uh, reception for the video and photo and you can see the remote and this is a remote we have seen a lot uh, we have also seen it in wl toys uh, we've seen it in jgrc i guess they're buying it from the same factory and we do get shoulder buttons two sticks gimbals that are not clickable all these trim buttons which i guess also do things like uh, move the gimbal maybe and uh, photo and video over here so we also get a screen i'm quite curious what we're going to see on this screen um, because usually we only get like the position of the gimbals if something else like the battery or some some other telemetry is going to be shown i'm going to be really surprised huge 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 propeller guards <laughs> with this guy you might want to use them i guess he's going to be able to carry anything you want because look at the size of those legs i wish i had those type of legs when i was flying the x8 about a year ago and oh my god we get another surprise from jgrc believe it or not this is the second set of uh, sunglasses i have from jgrc i got the last one from the age 31 model and now i got this from the age 28 i guess it's on the same day. i think it's also the same type of sunglasses so probably gonna do a giveaway for sunglasses soon because of all of these uh jgrc sunglasses let's talk about the bag of goodies over here first of all we can see that we get uh, four extra props which is uh, very good uh, I don't want to crash this quadcopter, it's quite big, I think uh, crashing it will, <laughs> will be a disaster. Um, we get a camera here and also as you can see we get two connectors, one of them is for the camera itself and the other is for the gimbal and as you can hear, this mechanical sound is the mechanical gimbal I guess and definitely a thing we want to check out during uh, the video we do get an sd card slot but i don't think we got an sd card we also didn't get an sd card reader which is interesting maybe the whole recording thing is done with your phone like in many other models got a tons of screwdriver got tons of screws over here not screwdriver one screwdriver which is really interesting very unique very unique i have tons as you already know but uh this one is definitely one of the most unique ones i got and the 2s uh, charger just a casual normal one nothing interesting here so this is basically it as you can see here on the video tons of stuff I'm gonna, now you can see it on the video tons of stuff tons of plastic we're gonna assemble everything and show you what this is this is an interesting quadcopter uh, you could use it to carry a lot of weight, so definitely going to try out uh, carrying my uh, run cam, maybe with uh, an altitude hold. This is definitely going to be interesting, also for FPV uh, flight. And other than that, going to check out the whole thing with uh, disassembles because if this is a big quadcopter, as you can see here, and it uh, disassembles quite fine, um, maybe that's a good quadcopter we can carry out and uh, fly it in places where we have even high winds. I'm just gonna disconnect here now the screwdriver. Unscrew the screwdriver, let's see. Unscrew the screw. And let's see what we got here because this is where the, the battery is at. Holy, that's a 1200 milliamp battery over there, guys. So this is a huge battery. I don't have, I used to have, I don't have anymore. Uh, this type of battery so gonna have only one to do the flight videos with this guy but this is a JST connector 
and this is a 1200 uh, milliamp battery with a balance port as you can see 7.4 volts nothing interesting on the body of the quadcopter itself but definitely an interesting choice for a battery definitely want to check out how long this is gonna fly so i hope you enjoyed this video let's wrap it up so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you need more information about this toy quadcopter make sure you click on the description here below and check all the information you need we have links to the best sellers on the internet also please if you enjoyed the video click on the like button so we will know we need to create more videos for you and definitely click on the subscribe button the red one over here so we will create more videos of this quadcopter and sh show you how it flies i'm Tzvi and see you on our next video here on Rotor Deal.